Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn and Share Your World. In this video, I will show you how you can find a correlation between the variables. I know you have a lot of questions on why we need to find the correlation, what exactly this correlation works out, and what we can get, what type of data that we can use it for uh, that uh, that is uh, giving in this correlation. There are a lot of correlation techniques actually. So which works and which for the best and uh, what are the importance so what are a lot of questions here so watch this video till the end i will show you uh, what exactly the meaning of this correlation and for which data types uh, uh, data you can use it for and what are that and here we will focus on coding as well so uh, watch till the end i will show you the coding method and uh, by which you can easily have and quickly in in just one line of code so let's get started so here we are primarily focusing on uh, Pearson correlation coefficient uh, method. So based on that, we will find out uh, how this two or more variables are having an association, whether they are the linear, uh, this sort of is a, it's works for the linear relationship. So what strength is, that is, what is the value that how strong they are uh, associated in what particular direction so direction gives you what actually the trend of your data is and the strength will give you how important they are within your data and is they are impacting in overall analysis so correlation is really an important measure to understand and to analyze your data so this is the most initial part and also after reducing and working out a lot of data at the end also you need to find out uh, what and the which are those uh, variables are important in your data so uh, this is an overall uh, thing that I am going to under make you understand about uh, what is uh, the correlation is and their method of finding it. And if you understand this Python, you will see in every or in most of your data type, there is a, uh, there is a correlation method and correlation function itself in the library. So uh, whether you try with a NumPy or a SkyPy uh, within the statistics, or you can also find a, a here in Pandas. So I will here focus on Pandas. So within Pandas library, how you can find the correlation. So let's see here. So what exactly Pearson correlation coefficient says that this is working only for uh, the numerical data. That is a correlation. If you want to find anything with the numeric data, you can use a Pearson coefficient. If any other type of data, let's say anything other than uh, numeric, which are uh, float or integer, you can use it. But any object type of data type uh, related data are, or you can say a categorical data or anything which are uh, qualitative in nature, then in that scenario, you cannot use this Pearson coefficient because they will never get you the result. This only works for the numeric data. So that is the first part. The second part is there has to be a kind of a linear correlationship, whether they are in the upward, downward, in any of the direction. So what this individual direction says, that will also focus here. If you see in this picture, I have uh, uh, shown uh, given the six different types of scenarios in which there are some very strong relationship uh, which passes uh, the, uh, a lot of points getting passed from that same line. So such kind of a trend says they are very highly correlated or a, a, a good correlation and association between the X and Y variables. If you see anything like this, that you are passing the line in between and you can see that the points are around them, not on the exact point, but maybe around them, that also and showing in some upward direction, then we can say it's a positive correlation. If I say something which are negative in direction, negative in direction, the line is in downward in direction, but some of the points are passing from that center of that line that we have find out um, in that. Then in that case, they are negative in sign because they are in downward direction. So anything with positive direction will give you in a plus. That is, this is a plus. And something is in negative, then it will give you the show you that they are infer as in the negative direction pattern they are inversely proportionate. So X and Y are inversely proportionate. So let's say if X increases, then Y definitely gonna decrease it. Similarly, if Y, uh, if in positive scenario, if we say 
then if x increases then y also gonna increase so that's how they go in the upward direction the and in negative correlation it's in the downward direction so this is how so what about this r is equal to zero so what r is r is just a symbol of using the uh, which is a row we call for the pearson correlation coefficient and in such scenario it says it's equal to zero when when the data points are around surround them but they are random Pa uh, in pattern there is no uh, relation that uh, if x increases y it decreases or increases nothing there is no as such a kind of a relation you cannot infer anything out of that uh, so in that case r is equal to zero so uh, here the whole thing the r will be within minus one to plus one so anything less than uh, zero to minus one then they it gives you the negative direction and the negative correlation and if anything with the uh, plus that is between 0 to plus 1 then it's a positive correlation so let's see the scale of that correlation coefficient and what exactly you can so this is how i am also giving you a very clear cut indicator that how we can uh, bifurcate whether they are strong in association so this uh, scale will give you the strength to make you understand what is the strength of this correlation so let's say if it is between 0 to uh, 0 0.19 which says 0 0.20 uh, in between if any uh, correlation coefficient the value that which you get is between that then it's a very low co uh, low correlation if anything between 0 0.2 to 0 0.39 so that's a low correlation if anything between 0 to 4 to 0 0.59 which is giving you a moderate relationship 0 0.6 to 0. 79 or 0 0.8 you can say it's a high correlation anything beyond that 0 0.8 to 1 between that so that's a very high correlation you will never get anything beyond minus 1 to 1 it will stay within that only so i hope you understand the overall what uh, this correlation is so now let's get jump to uh, how we can do with the coding so for this i have imported the pandas as i said i will work and i will show you here how you can get the correlation using the pandas so i'm just importing pandas that is the most important library here then uh, here we will see about something on the uber stock data so i have uh, read the csv uber based data in the stock and stored it in a stock underscore df so this the the top five records of that file now let's see what are the data types of this uh, file so write stock underscore uh, df dot p types so this will give you uh, the data type of your columns so here except the date the rest are in the numeric values here volume is an integer rest of them are in the float so now let's see what uh, and how we can find the correlation for that just you have to simply write the stocks underscore df dot for if you simply write this and uh, run the cell oops, it's a stock not stocks so if you run the cell you will see uh, this is how a correlation matrix is uh, is there every other value every other value is actually the correlation so something between high and open open and open anything if you want to find between the two same variables let's say open and open then it will always give you one because that's a very strong relation it's always going to be one so if you uh, closely examine this then this uh, the diagonally everything are one because they are actually finding the, you are finding the correlation with their own so when self correlation is there then you can have just one so now let's see If I simply draw here uh, this thing, then this is how the diagonally they have been correlated. And now, if I see something like between, let's say I want to see some close and open relation, then I will go from this close and from here I will go to down and let's see from here. So this is what the value is. It says 0 0.996635. And if you see some open and low from here as well, it will also give you that same value. That is 0 0.996635. So anyway, if you see diagonally something in the up in the upward side, that's an up 
outward upper triangle and if you see anything uh, by this diagonally if you see anything the lower triangle then they also they are the replica of each other so you just have to see any one triangle the upper or the lower so let's uh, i prefer going the lower triangle which works better for me so now let's discard all this and see if you see here there is uh, if you see this uh, low and open, it says 0 0.99, which says they are highly correlated. As per uh, the scale that I told you, 0 0.80 to 1, it's a very high correlation. So this is giving a very uh, uh, useful um, uh, inference from this that they are very highly correlated but if you see some volume and this open you can have this is in the negative 0 0.22 which is says a low correlation anything between 0 to 20 or 0 0.19 is a very low and this is a low correlation between 20 because here we are getting something in a negative but it's negative 0 0.22 which is way below um, so it's a low correlation so this is not correlated to anything whether it is an open or volume and these are in negatively correlated if we open in a very high uh, value then the volume will be in the downward uh, in direction so this is in a negative uh, refer the rest of them are in the positive and they are very highly correlated so this is how you can understand the correlation if I just only want to get between the two of those values, let's say I want to sh see some open and uh, low related correlation, then how I will uh, write here. So for a single E, if you want, then just write stock underscore DF and from there you want to select this low, right? Then write or and between the parentheses, pass stock underscore DF and which are that? particular uh, va variable that you want a correlation so here we want to see on open and now run the cell so that gives me the exact value that here what we are getting it's 0 0.9663456 so that is round uh, in figure it's giving six in digit uh, decimal points so that's how we are getting here so this is how you can find the correlation and I hope you like this video. If you really like, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel. For more such video, please hit on the bell icon. And I will, uh, I will seriously uh, ask you for your support that please go and watch my videos and do share and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's really give a good boost to myself that uh, I will work more and more on your videos. And... Uh, upload it and share with you uh, what my knowledge is on that and uh, thank you so much for watching.